A big arrest in a burglary case targeting Arkansas pharmacies just got even bigger. In fact, it's now being named the largest case involving pharmacy burglaries in DEA history. Yeah, tonight, new at 6, th 11s Brooke Buckner breaks down these new details. Thursday, 24 co-conspirators accused of being involved in multiple pharmacy burglaries were arraigned in federal court after being arrested in July. This is in addition to the 18 arrested late last year in the Rich Off Meds operation. We're ready to tell you about the second phase, which has expanded from 20 pharmacies in Arkansas to now over 200 pharmacies across 30 additional states. U.S. Attorney Jonathan Ross says 42 people from Houston, Texas are indicted after working together in the string of opioid medication thefts. Where in the early morning hours, they would shatter glass at pharmacy locations, low crawl on the floor to evade motion detectors, and systematically remove dangerous opioid benzodiazepines, promethazine with codeine, and other scheduled medication from the pharmacy shelves resulting in thousands of pills and gallons of promethazine cough syrup being sold on the streets back in Houston. It is rewarding and personally meaningful when uh, any number of these medications are taken off the streets because if they're not, it's, it's, it's almost a certainty that they will end up causing the death or other injury to the, the end user. Stephen Hofer with the Drug Enforcement Administration says the DEA has recently seen a surge in these kinds of pharmacy burglaries. Last year alone, 900 burglaries were reported. As a, as a result, pharmacies lost almost 3.8 million doses of controlled substances. This equates to more than $12 million in, in profits. Ross says the work doesn't stop there to get more of these criminals off the streets. It certainly matters greatly to the work of our office and the law enforcement officials that we work with to make a difference. In Little Rock, Brooke Buckner, THV 11 News. Brooke, thank you. Most of the defendants appeared in U.S. District Court here in Little Rock this afternoon. The rest will appear over the next month.